But joining us now from Los Angeles is Frank Chin, celebrated Chinese-American author and playwright, considered one of the pioneers in Asian-American theater. His play, The Chicken Coop Chinaman, was the first by an Asian-American to be produced on a major New York stage back in 19. 19- 72. Uh, many awards and accolades. We're, we're honored to have him with us. Frank Chin, thank you very much for joining us today. I've listened to the longest crap. I hear a, a, a Chinese saying he had n- no other inspiration but a stereotype, and, he, and he's seeking to resolve both sides of the stereotype. The answer to the stereotype, the antidote, his word, to the stereotype, is that our stereotype, our first character from the first novel in the world, Guan Gong, from the romance of the Three Kingdoms, does he know Guan Gong? Every Chinese knows Guan Gong, and many Americans have Does no doubt seen Guan Gong. Well, well, if I may, just so our listeners know what you're talking about, this is a very fierce-looking general you often see in a Chinese restaurant or establishment with a big kind of uh, a scabbard or a spear. It, it looks like a can opener, right? Yeah, exactly, and and he it is one like big, fierce-looking... And, and it weighs 100 pounds. Yeah, some super-masculine, big, fierce a warrior. Yun Te Wang, do, do, do you know? Of course you know Guan Gong. Of course, grew up in the countryside in China, you know, his temple is everywhere. But, and it's not uh, possible not to know Guang Gong. But Frank, he, uh, I'm, thank you so much for coming up on the show. I mean, I'm a great admirer of your work. And, what uh, have you, you know, read and, of my work. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. What have you I read quote, of I, my work. I read what? your uh, Ding, uh, Gunga Ding, you know, Gunga Highway. Highway. I read, read Highway, read, the read, great book you, about you, Charlie Chang or The Father and the Son. And I yes, also, yes. actually, in my book, I quote from your, you know, uh, Sons of Chen. Uh, that's my favorite essay or story, really, when you end with, say, you know, G.U.E. is bop, pop. You know, I have got a surprise. Have I got a surprise for you? Which means I'm going to kill you. But, Fra- and, but if, uh, if, if I may, Frank Chin, are, are you saying that this is the wrong image to, to, uh, of China, of, of, the, of the Chinese? You, you want the big warrior. I'm, I'm saying the image of Charlie Chan is a racist image produced by racists, acted by racists, and, and perpetuated by... I'm Tom Ashbrook. This is On Point. We're looking this hour at a new look at Hollywood's controversial Chinese detective character, Charlie Chan. China-born scholar Yun Tae Wang revisits the tale in his new book, Charlie Chan, The Untold Story of the Honorable Detective and His Rendezvous with American History. Here's Charlie Chan is uh, in uh, Charlie Chan at Monte Carlo, 1937. In future, remember, tongue often hang man quicker than rope. Kind of uh, chopped back Confucian uh, aphorisms there. What do you see in Charlie Chan? A brilliant detective on par with Hercule Perot and Philip Marlowe? Or a simpering and obedient Asian Uncle Tom? An embarrassing mockery of Chinese culture and manner. And this can a, can a mainland China born and raised scholar know what this character means or meant to Chinese Americans? Yun Te Wang joins us from Ithaca, New York this hour, and also with us from Los Angeles. Uh, California, Frank Chin is here, celebrated Chinese-American author and playwright, author of the Gunga Din Highway, Donald Duck, Bulletproof Buddhists, and other essays. Uh, Frank, I want to give the floor back to you for a second here, because you came out pretty strong saying this is, this is the wrong image entirely. No, 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 no. I, 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 I'm saying the Chinese image of, the, of themselves is Guan Gong, and, and, and the white image of the Chinese is Charlie Chan. And what flows uh, from that? What, what, what? And 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 the, and in comparison, the you know uh, as you as as uh, uh, as you as I know uh, Donald Duck, as I know uh, uh, a Little Red Riding Hood, as as I know you should know uh, the Chinese side too uh, uh, of. And and so you should know what the Chinese think of the Chinese. We know what the whites think of the Chinese. We know what the whites think of the whites. Uh, and but but Americans don't really know the, the Chinese understanding of themselves the way the, the world knows Rumpelstiltskin from Germany or Jack and the Beanstalk from England or exactly, Cinderella from France. Exactly. And 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 the, and and Charlie Chan is a reason for justification for the whites not to know. They the Chinese have offered. 
uh, Guan Kong. They have offered every, all their knowledge right off the boat in 1849. They came off the boat. The, the customs, uh, the uh, inspectors noted that the Chinese brought with them statues of Guan Gong. Uh, they didn't know what they were, but they reported them. We knew Guan Gong. We came. We were literate. We knew what we were talking about. We knew we were mm-hmm. coming to America. Mm-hmm. And, and that, at, that, at that point, 1849, uh, Chinese American history began. Chinese American history and Chinese history were, were separate histories. What happened to the Chinese here did not happen to the Chinese in China. And, and uh, that uh, the, the author of uh, 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 Charlie Chan, uh, uh, the Charlie Chan book, uh, mm-hmm. he, he obviously doesn't know Chinese-American history. He doesn't know, uh, uh, just, for the, just for your listeners, let me describe Guan Gong so, that, so they can recognize him if they see him in a... You know, when they walk into a shop, and again, or, you're you're talking about the the great general from way back he, in the Three he, Kingdoms he, era of China, he, right? He was more than a great general. Mm-hmm. He was more than a great general. Mm-hmm. He, he introduces himself as a murderer, uh, uh, and, and for some reason, uh, uh, Lao Bei, uh, who represents morality, who represents heaven, uh, he decides to accept him to uh, to save China. Uh, the the uh, Zhong Fei, who represents Earth. Uh, is, a, is a rich farmer, and uh, and he is providing uh, Lao Bei money to raise an army, and uh, he decides that uh, Guang Gong is a good guy too, and the three of them uh, mm-hmm. form the uh, uh, the triad that uh, is at the center of uh, 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 the romance of the three kingdoms. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there are three statues all over the place right up to this day. Yun Te Wang, you're listening, and you hear Frank Chin's almost desperation to get the real That's cultural stories. It, it's anger. Uh, uh, yeah. You, 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 you hear this, uh, Yun Te Wang, that maybe Charlie Chan stands in the way of Americans and others. No, no, he doesn't stand in the way. Uh, the, the, the refusal. I mean, Yun Te Wang ha- makes no mention of... Uh, uh, of the Chinese having a stereotype of their own, but, of but, themselves. But, Frank, that's not what he's writing and, about. And, I mean, he's not writing he, about... And, and Yen Wong seemed, just said that he had no stereotype either. He had to turn to Charlie Chan. He enjoyed Charlie Chan. Charlie Chan image was more congenial to himself. Let, let me uh, ask uh, Yun Tae Wong and uh, Mr. Wong, why are you writing about Charlie Charlie Chan instead of a great traditional Chinese, you know, figure? Oh, writing Kong? about them both at the same time. That should be a comparison. Mr. Wong, let's hear it. Well, sure. Um, well, there's another Chinese hero that I really worship, which is Monkey King. And, and that's Monkey how King I look at later. Charlie Chan. Monkey King is cold. Monkey King is cold. W- w- code for what? Uh, well, the well on the one hand, okay, let's go so, ahead. So, sorry, Yun Tae Wong, please, uh, w- okay. what's your response? Well, well, we have two images here, or two Chinese heroes doing this uh, battle on the stage. Uh, so one is red-faced, very wise, you know, Guang Gong, mm-hmm. which is really a hero, a warrior. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, we have another kind of warrior who's funny. Sometimes he's m- mischievous, which is Monkey King, like I said. And Charlie Chung is really the Monkey King, the trickster figure. So, so I think, you know, if you ask any Chinese, they will understand, you know, both are heroes. It's not that one is better than the other or one came earlier than the other or anything. Monkey and King I think there's a reason. The same, Monkey King lives in the same universe as Guan Gong. Monkey King is a hero of the Tang Dynasty, following uh, by centuries the Han Dynasty uh, that produced uh, Guan Gong. Um, Monkey King refers to Guan Gong. Monkey King refers to Sun Tzu. Monkey King is in the same universe, continuous with Guan Gong. Monkey King is cold. He is not a man. He is less than a man. He is not a real ape. He is made of rock. He he come. He he was born out of. A, a spontaneous explosion of a mountaintop. Frank Chen, why, 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 is it, why is it so important to you that Americans would understand Guan Gong, the, the fierce general warrior, rather than a, a Charlie Chan Monkey King figure? Why is, it, 
why why does it have to be either? Why does it have to be? Well, either? not every book can be about everything, and you're objecting. Why does it have to be? Uh, if if you if you're talking about the Chinese, yes, and and you say and you're saying the Chinese object to the uh, uh, being portrayed as uh, uh, as uh, Charlie Chan, then what do they what what do they prefer? We say. I say that Charlie Chan is a white stereotype of a white behavior, mm-hmm. uh, and 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 the antidote to that stereotype, uh, Wong's word, is the truth. The truth, literature. We're just, just well, talking about literature. Uh, you say Wong? Yes. If I may interject, um, you know. There's an interesting、uh, chapter of the history here, which is the reception of Charlie Chang, or the、uh, what I would call the the tarnishing of the image of Charlie Chang in post World War II, really. And that's a critical moment of the turn of Charlie Chang's image, when China, the word China or Chinatown, what I call the C word, became you know really acquired a very negative connotation. Look, I'm not trying to convince you know like Frank, you know to. Convince you to like Charlie? It's impossible because that you know racism took place,、mm-hmm. um, it affected your life. It's impossible for me, for instance. You know, I'm not trying to convince anybody who grew up with you know your neighborhood kids coming down, coming to you doing Charlie Chan or chasing after you. You know, saying chanting, you know, Ching Chong Chinaman sitting、right. on a fence. That's、mm-hmm. impossible. And, and that's saying, actually and the、I'm、moment saying, when Charlie Chan became so, so popular so, in the、so, United States. Yes, th- these kids do exist. These yes, who who, who who were deprived, the Chinese Americans who were deprived of the existence of of a book of children's literature called Romance of the Three Kingdoms and Guangdong. They're deprived of that, and they and they for and they become susceptible to kids say Ching Chong Chinaman, and they go, Oh, I'm not a Ching Chong Chinaman, and they become susceptible. Hey, Jap, and whoa, I'm not a Jap, but before they can answer, the、yes. the white kid is gone. Uh, yeah. The answer should be, you know,、uh, they know they're not a Jap. They're not. They, what, wh- and wh- what do they know? They know Guan Gong. They they have their own image of themselves. Their image of themselves 